Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing well tonight. Let me uh, get out of a few things here, get into a few things. Literally. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well and ready to, we're not going to craft tonight. We might use a few of the products, but we are going to look at, oh, I wasn't trying to hide it. But we are going to look at what's in this box. <laughs> Yay, I can't wait. It's going to be so fun. So I'm so glad to have you here. And um, who else has their products from the July to December pre-order? That's pretty early. I did pay for two-day shipping, but it came in one day. So I'll take it. Yeah. Say, I'll take it. That's totally fine by me. Okay, so my camera's going to really delay here, probably, because I have a bunch of different, I have four different screens <laughs> attached. I don't know. We're not like reporting live from the backyard, reporting live from the dog's, the dog's couch. It's the dog's couch, right? Hello, Roz and Susan and Ann. Roz's goodie box comes tomorrow. Yay! Oh, yay! And Anne shared, yay, Andrea, it's okay. You can totally fall asleep. I think you're two hours ahead of me, girl. I would fall asleep. I would be like constantly watching on replay. Um, oh my goodness, you're watching an extra kid this week. <laughs> Bless you. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> oh gosh, thank you for sharing, you guys. The shares are really working. My views are way up. Now, I am appreciating that so much. Let me fix this light for just a minute. It's getting on my nerves. Believe it or not, that I do have a rhyme and reason to the way this thing's set up. Um, I know it doesn't seem like that sometimes. Like if you were just watching the drawing that I did over in the Christmas Makers Club, the dogs were barking. I was yelling at them because I couldn't think straight. Um, I couldn't get my face on the camera. So, guess what? I've worked out all the kinks. I should go live there every Thursday night at 6.30. Because <laughs> then, like, I was all ready for right now. Anyway, um, we're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to talk about drawings. We're going to talk about classes. It's really like a catch-up. Not a catch-all. A catch-up. And so, I'll be watching comments tonight. I definitely want you to ask me questions about the products I'll be showing you. Where did I put the most important things? I don't remember. I was carrying them around. Oh, well, I have extras. So, um, anyway, my name is Lisa Harden. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. One of the things that means is that I sell all of the products I will be showing you tonight and many more. We have anything that you would need. For any level of paper crafting and uh, if you're not a paper crafter but you might like to try it out I can give you a project for just about any budget any skill level and any interest yeah and um, two of the things that Stampin' Up! is really known for and really excels at are colors having beautiful uh, integrated color families and on-trend colors and the other thing is coordination and the coordination is key because uh, it's a sophisticated kind of coordination it's things complement each other they're not all matchy matchy okay it's not like from the 80s when you had the wallpaper border that matched the curtains that matched the dish towels that's all fine if you still have that no disrespect but it's a more sophisticated kind of thing where the products all might use the same color or the same theme, but somehow they just go together and that makes crafting really easy. Sometimes it makes it fast if you want it fast or you can stretch it out as long as you want. Like you can stretch it out for 30 years. How do I know that? Because that's how long I've been paper crafting <laughs> and been using Stampin' Up! products for just about that long. So anyway, I just enjoy, or I invite you to just hang out with me for a while. We're not doing any projects that we're just going to be trying out some new product, but mostly looking at the new product. Now the new product is coming from 
this is what's in the other room that I was going to show you, but it's coming from the July to December mini catalog, okay? And it's coming from the celebration flyer. We have another celebration, my friends. It starts July 1st. If you're a demonstrator, you can start earning today. I've already earned a lot of things, and they're in that box back there. If you're not already a demonstrator, I would love to have you on my team. We are a small but growing team. One thing I like about that for people who join is that you can help define what the team ends up being, right? So you can have a hand in events, and I still have events at my house that I can also do events online, <laughs> and believe it or not, I can do that. And so anyway, um, being a demonstrator or being a hop happy sh shopper, can't speak, I'm so emotional about it, being a happy shopper is just as easy as um, purchasing $125 of product for $99 plus tax. You get free shipping, you get a free paper pumpkin, which is a subscription kit. Um, and this month, uh, you this month through August, you gotta make sure you can't see this. Um, you can, you will get a free, really special, really cool offer from the company. So with, along with what I just told you, you, can, you will purchase, which is $125 of product of your choice. And it can be from this catalog or anything existing. It can be from the clearance rack, anything you want. You can purchase $125 of liquid glue if you want and get a get a discount on it. Whoops, sorry. I'm so excited. Then you don't buy anything else if you want. It doesn't matter. You just get to a shop with a discount for a few months and try it out. If you like it, you continue. If you don't like it, you just come back to me as a customer. It really is. That's it. I know you think there's like got to be something to it. I don't want your firstborn. I don't want any of your kids, actually. I'll guarantee you that, okay? So anyway, um, but plus all of that stuff that you get to choose yourself, the company has come out with this, I don't know, what can I call it? Really stunning, useful extra gift. And it is a planner, a notebook, and a stamp set, all coordinating and grouped together. Um, we did sell planners for quite a few years and they were always, I used them. They were great and they're not doing it currently, but man, this new planner has a, just a cool cover on it and then all the goodies inside. You can do your bullet journaling or whatever kind of journaling you want to do in this. Looks like it has calendar pages, um, all sorts of other focus type goal-oriented things. Anyway, um, that's going to be a special gift, and I think it's about $45 retail, if I recall. I haven't purchased it yet, but I believe it's $45. So anyway, if any of that interests you at all, feel free to just give me a call after this video, preferably 208-830-6328. I would love to chat with you about it. Whether you decide to be a part of my team or not, I believe in giving people information and um, I'm happy to help, okay? So if you live in the United States, you can join my team and I invite everybody. Everybody has a place on my team, okay? That's all you need to know. You just need to be a happy uh, person that wants to learn to stamp or stamps. Those are the only criteria. <laughs> okay, so um, I will tell you that one of the things that I need to mention right, is that we have the new catalog coming out, and that means an old, an old catalog or another catalog has to go. We have to make room. And the catalog that is phasing out this month is this one, the January to June Mini. And I really don't need to go any further than that windmill. Those, oh, it's so cool. It's interactive if you want it to make moving parts or... Anyway, it's really cool. I, it's not... It's still available. Lots of things are still available. Lots of things are on sale. And actually, let me put you down for just a minute. I want to show you one of the suites. Um, so I, again, over in the Christmas Makers 
um, group, when people submit something that um, goes along with the challenge that I post for the month, then at the end of the month I have drawings and I give out little cute things, mostly things that can fit in an envelope. <laughs> So anyway, this is what I made for this month using the Artfully Composed Suite, and it's actually a lip mask. And so I've just made, for you uh, crafters there, I've just made a really thin pocket using our adhesive strips, and that fits really well into there. Super easy. And so anyway, I just used all of the beautiful products from the suite, and so I want to point you down because... Um, let's take a quick look at this suite. Everything is still available, at least as of about 4.30, 5 o'clock today. Okay, so let me get over there, and I'm thinking maybe the my screen is delaying um, a little bit. So there we go. Okay, so this is the Artfully Composed, beautiful, um, I'm over on page 32 of the catalog, in case you're wondering. Lots of beautiful examples. Wow. I've definitely created cards using those, those examples. And so here again is um, what I just showed you. And it's all using um, these products and then just a couple extra things. And I've just made a little, punched a hole in this, made a little pocket. And then I wrote lip mask on the back of it so they didn't think it was candy or something. <laughs> So as an aside, if you are someone that wants to create for Christmas in advance, please join the Christmas Makers Club. Tis the season, Christmas Makers Club Facebook page. And it's not exclusive. It's just for anybody who's making things for Christmas and doesn't want to be um, doesn't want to be rushed at the end of the year. So. Anyway, hello, Jean. This is coming out to you. You're one of the people that won, right? I'm a month behind for you. Okay, so a lip mask is like a face mask. It's like a little hydrating gel mask. Just a little five-minute spa treatment for your lips. <laughs> so anyway, I used all the products from this. So just to let you know what great deals there are, um, I want to point out something. And this is, this is a bundle. Okay, so we... Stampin' Up! bundles products in the form of a stamp set and then dies or a punch. These are some beautiful dies. And um, anyway, when they're bundled like this, you can save 10%. But when they're on reti the retiring list, you want to be really careful when you're ordering them. Because these dies right now, which this is what they look like in the IRL in real life, right? Um... These dies are only $17.50, so they're 50% off. So you don't want to order this as a bundle because you won't get all of that savings. So if you would like to order this, or I should say when you order this, because if you don't have it, I really think, I'm, I don't say this all the time, do I? You know this. Um, this is just a great go-to. So anyway, if and when you would like to purchase this, Please use this item number for the stamp set, which is $24. And this item, or and this number for the dies, so there'll be two separate orders, but then you'll get 50% off of the dies, which is more than 10% of the bundle price. So just a little note there. These three things are still available and they're carrying over. This is some great layered vellum paper. And then finally, this paper is not carrying over because paper usually doesn't and it's only 1035 and it's probably I think I used three packs of this which is a lot for me um, not doing swaps or anything just doing my own cards and things so um, hello Jill and oh you love the pouch it was easy it was just with the adhesive strips so anyway um, this is definitely something that I wanted to point out to you uh, go over to, just go over to the, the stampingzoo.com, hit the shop now tab. You can shop in my store and it shows you everything that is, um, retiring and you can sort all different ways for things you're looking for. You can sort by color if you want, but this one again is called the artfully composed suite. So I hope you enjoy that one. I think it's going to be 
uh, one that I, I mean I say this about so many things but like why are we letting this go it's so good darn it anyway um, I hope you I hope that makes sense to you about the bundled pricing you can definitely message me if you don't quite understand that but sometimes it makes sense to split the products apart if they're going to be more than 10% off in the case as in the case of those dies okay so that again artfully layered stamp set and um, I'm gonna clear the decks because we're gonna have a lot up here on the desk tonight so let's see here also um, products from that January to June catalog that are retiring are while supplies last okay they used to they used to um, say that the stamps were available until like the third week, but they don't guarantee that anymore. It's too tough in this climate. So let's see. I'm having some comments and questions and people are sharing. Thank you so much for sharing. You know that on Thursday nights or any night really, when you share, I share. Okay, so when you share, then I come on, we do a drawing and you win stuff, right? So tonight I'm going to give away a brand new Berry Blessings. This is courtesy. People are sending me things now to put in my treasure chest. <laughs> so this is a brand new set courtesy of Kathy Sheely. Thank you, Kathy Sheely. And somebody gave me this and I don't remember who it was. It may have been Kathy too, but it's called Meadow Moments Embossing Folders. So this one was a celebration set. Really cool celebration set. Uh, really coordinates well with Sweet Strawberry if you have that bundle. And then this one, I don't remember which year it was in the catalog, but it's just like some gorgeous greenery butterflies. I mean, they're never going to go out of style. Berries, never going to go out of style. So this is what we're going to draw for tonight. And since it's 716, I am going to bring over um, yet another screen, if you can believe it. Let's see here. Oh, it's hard to know. Which one? I think it's this one. There we go. <laughs> okay, so these are the only people, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me make sure that was right. There were more people that shared last week. There were only nine people, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I couldn't get um, everybody's name because of privacy. You have certain privacy settings on your accounts. And so I go through, that's why I ask you to write shared in the comments. And I think some of you are being stinkers and not writing shared because you don't want me to send you the prize. <laughs> but I would love to still send you a prize. It's fun. But anyway, so these are the people who, who told me. And also special mention to Sonia De Silva. She shares so much of my stuff. But she lives in Canada and this is product. But um, I'll be sending her a card because she just shares tirelessly. She's shared my stuff for the last three years. Oh, brother. That uh, Amazon van. I really hope it's not stopping here. Okay, thank goodness. All right. Go back to sleep. Nothing to see here. Okay, everybody. We're going to click to spin. Check it out. Tango, it's over. <gasps> Kathy! Kathy Sheely is the winner. That's not going to work. She gave me the things. <laughs> Kathy, you can't get rid of them. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to send Kathy a card, a really nice card. And then I'm going to give these things away because she wants me to give them away. <laughs> Let me write this down for a minute. That's too funny. Um, I knew she was on there, but of course I was like, I don't think, get up. She only has like a one in six chance, one in seven chance. <laughs> oh, she's laughing right now. I know you are, Kathy. I know it. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay, let's try it again, shall we? Um, let's see. Let me move myself. Uh, can I? I'm actually, you don't know this, but I'm bringing myself up on the screen. One minute here. There we 
we go. And then I can move myself. Okay. Sorry, Kathy. Okay, and I'm writing down Sonia gets a card. Hello, Sonia, if you're on replay watching. Okay, let's try that again, everyone. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, there we go. We've got Pam. Pam is always really fast to share. Pam, you're getting these goodies. So, um, all this stuff will go in the mail tomorrow. Um, I'm really excited for that. It's going to be super fun. Um, oh, that's just too funny. Whoops, let me get that off there. Okay, um, so I'm coming back to you in just one moment here. I don't want to, let's see. Uh, let me just get rid of that and bring you back. That's too funny, Kathleen. These things wanted to stay with you, but oh my gosh, I'm going to have so much happy mail going into the mail tomorrow. I'm so excited. Okay, so um, let's take a look at some of the new product, shall we? Now, I opened this up and I took out the catalogs, but I didn't take anything else out. I just wanted to look at them, right? I just wanted to look at them with you. Actually, let me, I'm sorry to keep changing screens, but that's why I brought them on, right? You know, I brought them on. It's KZ's fault. KZ, if you're here, because um, KZ, the other night we were having a meeting in a swaps group and KZ said, can you point the down, can I see the down camera? And I was like, the down camera is not on, girl. So anyway, now all the cameras are on. <laughs> so now I just have to figure out like, okay, where do I put all these things, right? So anyway, down cameras are on. And um, I am going to show these things to you on the desk. And hopefully that will, we can get that organized. Okay. Give us lots of space. We need space, okay? So anyway, I haven't looked at these things. I will try not to go crazy. See, I'm not somebody who has to try hard to show emotion. I have to try hard to turn it down a little bit. <laughs> turn down the emotion. Here's all the sunshine coming in still. Not really sunshine, it's overcast here, but that's all right, we'll take it. Okay, everyone, so hello, Pat. Pat Benetto, Benetto, which is it? I want to call you Pat Benatar, actually. It's pretty close to that. One of my, oh, all-time faves, of course. You are so welcome, Pam. Okay, this is a cool one. I alluded to this the other night. The Embossing Editions Toolkit. Oh, ho, ho. let's see what's in it. You guys, this is one of the most, it's two of the most asked for products. And now they're all in a kit. <gasps> Look at this. So it's an embossing tray. It's a paintbrush for wiping away your embossing. Reverse tweezers. <gasps> and the embossing buddy. The old embossing buddy. Can you believe it? There she is. Okay, so this is sold as a kit. Which I love because... Well, obviously, I bought it, and I have all these tools, but I wanted some extras. So this comes off so that you can, like, tap your embossing powder back into its little round container, which I like. I don't keep my embossing powder in Tupperware. I know it sounds like it's easier, but I don't have the room to store all that, so I tried it. It didn't work out. So I keep it in the little containers it comes in, and then let's take a look at this. Who likes this? Are there any likes for this? Or you're fine? <laughs> Don't turn down. Oh, <laughs> well, I won't, Brene. I said I'd try. I didn't say I'd do. <laughs> and then, oh, wow. Sorry, these are good. Look at that. So my other ones, I really was getting ready to buy some new ones because these are some oldie moldies. They kind of stick together because there's embossing on them. There we go. I need some reaction. 
or I'll think you've all fallen asleep and then I'll just go play with my, I'll take my toys and go home. <laughs> Not really. I'll sit here and talk to myself, but it's more fun to talk to you and see what things you like and don't like. Anyway, these feel great. They've got kind of a non-slip um, finish on them. They're really, oh man, you're going to be able to hold the tiniest thing. This is your third hand when you are tying a bow. There we go. Yes, we do love it. This is a really cool kit. I don't remember what the price is, and I don't want to mess around with the catalog right now. Because, you know, sometimes I want to show it, and I can't. I can only show you the cover of those things right now. Anyway, that's supposed to go in there somehow. There it is. So nice. Oh my gosh. I know Leslie and needed a new embossing buddy and loved the tweezers. And even if you need like two of these things, I think the price was really, really good. In the low 20s. I can't remember. It's US. But in the low 20s. Yeah. Not to you know, make the rest of you mad, except for the UK. So anyway, that is the, now I hope you're making a shopping list, everyone. Um, the Embossing Editions Toolkit. And again, if these things are interesting you, and you don't want to wait until they go live at the beginning of July for all the customers, then let's talk, because we can get you a great shopping deal tonight. Okay. We don't want to wait until tomorrow. We want to get it tonight. I will um, stop watching Golden Girls to talk to you tonight if you call me before like 11, okay? <laughs> That's saying a lot. Okay, let's take a look at these. Embossed. Oh, these are from the existing catalog, but um, they're embossed treat bags. So that's the size of those. I've been wanting... It's really important to know these things. Where did my world's most fabulous ruler go? Sometimes it's on the floor. Is it? No. Where did it go? I should have a place just for it, right? You would think that would be... Oh, well, I have, I have this. And this is supposed to be in my purse. But anyway, so they are... I'm going to look at the back of the package. And if it says what the measurements are, I'm going to die. Four and three quarters by six and a half by one and a half. <laughs> you can measure them or you can just get um, get the label out and take a look at it, Lisa Lynn. Okay, let's see. Where are these things going to go? I don't know. Um, maybe I can make a hole here. I think I can. You guys will remind me. Oh, some of these things can come out. Remember the other night when I was trying to color this kid. So if you missed us on Sunday night, we colored this kid and this kid. <laughs> Aren't they fun? So anyway, I was trying to color this kid's hair and that's when I found out I was out or my so saffron markers were dry. So that's what those are. Excellent. Oh, these are good. These are pretty. These are flat jingle bells. Oh yeah, they're probably building a pool in there. They wish. Naughty babies. I couldn't keep track of them if we had a pool. Look at these. Wow, flat but still really detailed. 20 in the package. Oh, those are good. I have special plans for those. I do, yes I do. Oh, they're so cute, okay. So I'm probably not gonna show you this the only thing about opening the box and doing it live like this is it's not as organized, but who cares? It feels more like a little party I'm having with you. Okay, let me get some things out. I'll try to be semi-organized. I don't know. That sounds like a promise I can't keep. Okay, a couple of embellishments. They're current right now. Um, the rustic metallic adhesive back dots, but I had an idea for using them in some swaps I'm doing with these products. And then here's something I didn't have yet. Oh, iridescent pearl basic jewels. I know, what did you miss, Brene? 
Oh yeah, the tray. It's good stuff. Look at these. And they have them. They have like shiny stuff. I don't know. They have shiny stuff on the top, and it almost makes them look like they have a ring around them, but they don't. Anyway, super pretty. And Jen Houston, if you're watching this. Makes me think of you all the time, my friend. All the time. When I see a self-adhesive pearl, I think of Jen Houston. Artsy Fartsy Gallery. Okay, I'm trying to unload here. Can you tell? So we have papers. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh. That, that box had my catalogs in it, too. <clears throat> Will it be the only order I make? No. Will it be the only pre-order? No. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I got it now. I thought I bought two of something. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Always. Okay, so this is the Pearlized Enamel Effects Basics. It is... Let's see if they tell us the colors. It's red. Oh, here they are. Real red, white and black. Let's put this on something and see what it looks like. On some cardstock maybe. I don't know. I think it's something that you set aside and let it dry, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? I can move that. I can move the ruler now. It needs to be in my purse, like I said. Okay, let's take a look at this. So it's pearlized effects. Pearlized enamel effects. Jingle bells. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Brene, you need them. <laughs> you can come work for me. The pay really sucks, though. <laughs> but I need a lot of things done around here. <laughs> Would the heat gun work on it? I don't know, Andrea. Now, we have some puff paint. I think... Because this like sticks and see how it's like standing up? I don't know. Hello, Jebra. Very nice to see you. I will also tell you guys, you shared the heck out of my Sunday video. I appreciate that so much. Like I told you, my views are going up. They're going up. More people are finding out about the Stamping Zoo. We are spreading our love for paper crafts. And that's cool. Okay, so, as you can see, it almost like makes like a little pearl. It holds its shape, and but you could also draw a line, like I kind of did with the black there. Um, I don't know if you could write like letters with it or whatever. You'd have to be more careful than I probably am going to be. But see, they're kind of raised there. And to me, this is something that it's the last embellishment that you put on your project and then you leave it overnight. So yeah, it might be like stickles. Stickles is like a glitter that comes out of a tube. You know what? It's really smooth though. Really smooth. And um, coming out of there, the applicator is excellent. I would say the only thing about this, I think you saw me doing it, is kind of when you finish using them, kind of Tango, nip it. You heard me doing that. Kind of tap it down like that to get that um, paint out of the nozzle. Or put a pin in it, literally. <laughs> Reminds me of the Real Housewives. Somebody did not know they were using that phrase wrong. Can you believe that? Those ladies. That's why they're not called the first scientists. Hey, what are you doing? You need to be quiet out there. I see you. He won't come if I call him, so I won't even bother. Bad dog. Not really. Ooh, this looks good. Now, I wondered about this. This is called silver, well, it says threaded twine, but that must be what it is. Silver threaded twine. And you were saying to have a you need the puff paint for beer froth. Yes! And I think I still have an old one, but I bought a fresh one because we have it now. Okay, look at this. Uh, yes, there we go. Just trying to show you. Um, 
looks like this on the end. I don't know how thick it is. It's thicker than regular twine, okay? But it could be used as handles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Handles on gift bags or something like that. Um, I wouldn't. If you tie this in a bow, it's going to be a big old bow, okay? It's going to be for a 3D project. But that's really nice, isn't it? Look how cute that is. So that has that silver thread running through it. Yeah, isn't that cool? But see, like, here's just twine, baker's, baker's twine, versus this stuff, threaded twine. Okay. All right. So that's what it looks like. It is so it's a little more, you know, um, hearty, but it's really cool. I can totally see using that on. Um, you could use use it as ribbon in a Christmas package that's covered in craft paper that you've stamped on. Craft paper is still pretty cheap. Like a big roll of craft paper, it's still pretty cheap. Believe it or not. But this is Snowfall Accents Pup Paint. Just what Leslie was telling her husband they needed for beer froth, right? And this is heat activated. Um, I'm looking to see, does it say that anywhere? No, it has a big warning sign on it. What's that about? Let me get in close. Achtung! Apply in a thin line, then heat with a heat tool to puff the paint. I guess that's the warning. I don't know. Because it, I don't know. Remember that one time we had that stuff? Oh, it's the gold leafing. And it has a warning sign on it. And then it has um, a dead fish. <laughs> it has a dead fish. Because you're not supposed to dump it into into water. Because it um, kills animals. But that got my attention. That one got my attention. Okay. Okay, here's some more treat bags. Guess what? I don't need to measure them. The treat bags, this is a little different. These measurements are three and a half by five and a quarter by two. They're a little bit wider and a little bit shorter. Kind of like me, right? As I found out at the doctor, somehow in the last 30 years, 40 years, okay, 35 years, I have shrunk three inches. Really? I don't know. My first thing is to call BS on that. Because that would mean I'm getting older. Look at these. Okay, these are definitely, um, they're a little shorter, a little wider. They feel food safe inside. It probably says do not eat. Oh, it might say that. I don't know. But why does it say it in English then? Um, okay, so these are going to be really cool. You're going to be able to put color back behind these. These are cut out. They're actually cut out, okay? So you're going to be able to put a votive candle in there and put it up. Let's pretend that's a votive. With a battery, okay? Not a real votive. I'm not. Don't do that anymore. There's no need for that. But put that in there and put it out on your doorstep. Um when you have a Christmas party, of course, that's going to be beautiful. So I know they're gorgeous. Aren't they Lori? Look at that. Yep. Battery operated tea lights. And then of course their paper, um, these are ready for stamping. You can spritz them. And what I mean by that is where are my spritzers? Maybe I'm not going to tell you what I mean by that. Where are they? Huh. I think I rearranged. I put them in some other place that was supposed to be more orderly. Here they are. <laughs> I only have like 30 of these drawers. Okay, so it looks like this. You buy them, they're super cheap. And um, you get two in a package. But this is where the reinkers come in handy because you can you can put 90% or higher isopropyl alcohol into this and then add a couple drops of reinker and then you can just um, shake it okay put this into 
that's another area. Do them outside if you're doing a lot of them. But um, I put it in an old paper pumpkin box and they just spritz the heck out of it. And it'll be a really beautiful color or a really beautiful finish, okay? Because the bag is only slick on the inside. Okay, anyway, so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of in love with these. Did I buy two packages or only one? <laughs> only one. Oh, well, Lisa, you don't have to have two of everything. Okay, let's see. That is, uh, that is a celebration. I got celebration rewards already, right? We are earning celebration rewards right now if you're a demonstrator. Pretty fun. Thank you for the love hearts. Jean, I know. I said, but well, I'm petite now? Except I'm not petite. It only makes me wider if I'm shorter. I don't like that. Okay, anyway, who cares right now? Um, I'm just happy to be feeling well, whatever size I am. Adhesive backed sequins and gems. This was in a suite of snowflakes. And wow, I think these are, one of them's Fresh Freesia, maybe. One of them's Coastal Cabana, and I'm guessing this one's Highland Heather. Look at that. We don't often get Coastal Cabana in gem form. Here, I'm going to hold it really close. Oh, look at those. Three different shapes. These, this coordinates with a snowflake shape, but I love it just as it is. It's really interesting. Um, I didn't buy the suite yet. I didn't buy the bundle that goes with these, but they're beautiful. Paper, likewise, stunning, right? It's purple, all you need to know. And Coastal Cabana, who doesn't love that? Okay, so again, adhesive backed sequins and gems. That's kind of a very generic name, but they're in there. So there's an index at the end of the catalog. Oh, and by the way, if any of you would like catalogs, Look no further. If you live in the United States and you're not working with another demonstrator already, um, please let me know. Private message me your mailing address and I'll get them in the mail to you tomorrow or whenever you private message me, okay? Um, I, If you are a current customer of mine, you're already taken care of. They are all, they've are they already been ordered and hopefully they're coming to you soon, okay? And if you are an existing demonstrator and you're wondering where yours is, you'll either get one in your uh, first order, or I think they sent them out on May 25th. But again, that goes out like by bulk mailing or magazine mailing or something. So I haven't gotten mine yet that way. Um, the best way to get it is to place an order. Then you know it's coming. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Uh, let's take a commercial break. That doesn't mean you get up and go somewhere. This is a good commercial. Okay, so I have something fun, and I only have two of them to sell. Um, but I'm gonna start with you guys first, and then if no one takes these, or if you guys don't take these tonight, um, I'm gonna post them over on my email list, and if there's enough people there that I think they'll probably go. This is just a little something for you to chat about if you want. So I have here a Hues of Happiness card kit. These are two of the actual projects. Okay, the kit will make eight cards plus a 3D project. The cost is $25 if you pick it up from me here at the house. Add on $9 shipping if you are a little too far to pick it up from the house. And anyway, um, I will show you now with the, I have the actual goods here with me, okay? So this is a little, the 3D project is a post-it holder, post-it and pen holder. Isn't that fun? Oh, we love it because we love things that are mini, right? So um, this is that project, okay? And all of these, you'll have tutorials for all of the projects. Um, so don't worry about any of that. You will have written tutorials. Plus I'll probably do a video tutorial at least on the 3D project. You'll have a selection of this paper, which is currently not orderable. Um, you know, we'll be back. But 
not right now. <laughs> so um, my kids have a selection of this paper, more than you need for the eight cards. You'll also get a half a package of the Glossy Dots assortment. This is Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Coastal Cabana. Just four of the colors that are in, um, in this collection of papers. So again, that's the coordination that I've been talking about. And then these are the four cards that I've designed. So again, you'll have card bases and supplies to make two of each of these cards plus extra things. So when you get done, you'll have extra embellishments, you will have extra scrap papers of cardstock, and you will have definitely have extra DSP. So, um, these this is just kind of a fun little strip technique with all different things. And then finally, this is off the cover of the catalog, so um, you have to make that right. Doesn't that sound fun? And so this is what it looks like. This is what the kit looks like. Okay, um, without the tray, that was for my retreat. Um, so you'll get a color coordinated to the best of my ability, um, a post-it, a pen, and the cardstock. So these didn't coordinate necessarily, but I bought a huge box of, um, special colors of post-its because they went with our papers, right? And then I bought these tiny little gel pens that are the cutest in the world. They're a Mike and Ike but they came in such cool colors that like I gave everybody at the class, the, the in-person class, a coordinating set like this. And so you'll get a coordinating set like this also. And it just takes one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And then everything else will be packaged up just like this. This is one of the kits, okay? And then it has numbers on them and the numbers coordinate to the written tutorial. And then, like I said, you'll have, now this one has kind of goofy paper in it, but you'll have more paper than that. And um, I was taking it out and doing something else with it, sorry. Uh, let's see here. I might have another one. This paper's all chopped up. I chopped up the paper kind of differently. I probably created more work for myself than I needed to, but if you have the dies for this stamp set, um, the DSP, you can cut these out of the DSP. And so I made, I cut these because I didn't want to cut the papers in half, the flowers in half, I'm sorry. So anyway, it's cut up kind of weird, but you get all that, you have envelopes, and then again, you'll get all of the things you need for the little post-it holder, okay? This is super cute. And once you've made one in the kit, then you'll know how to make them. And you can make a bunch for Christmas or something. So anyway, I have two kits. Um, they need to be sent to the United States. Otherwise, you'll be really sad about the shipping. <laughs> the shipping will be way crazy, right? But I would love to send those out tomorrow when I send out all of this other happy mail. So please let me know if you're interested. Um, I am watching the comments right now, but make sure you private message me if you'd like it because I don't want to miss your comment. And I don't think I'm going to have time to make more of them because, you know, we're moving on to other stuff. But um, anyway, so I just wanted to give you a heads up on that because it's super fun. And um, hopefully somebody, at least two of you, would like to do that so my kids can have a home. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jean. Yes, it was really fun to put together. Ooh, okay, Deborah, you got it. I just saw that. So, um, Deborah, I will send you a PayPal invoice after that, after this. I think we've done that before and um, we'll just go from there and then I'll put oh okay they're gone <laughs> well good Kathy string you were just talking about getting your mojo back this will be a really easy way to get your mojo back right it's a kit already designed okay let me just take a minute here to write on one of my beautiful post-its I need to write that down because I want to get those in the mail again in the morning just like with all the other fun stuff 
I want to write with these so badly, but I keep, I lost one at class because I was writing with it because they're so cute. <laughs> okay, so I've got Deborah and Kathy String. I will send you invoices right after this class. Do not feel obligated to pay them tonight, okay, or stay for the rest. Um, I know you guys are ahead of me in the time zones, so um, that it's okay. You've got them, okay? That's great. Thank you so much, and I'm excited for you guys to have them. I think you're going to like them. I hope you're going to like them. They were well received, and everybody except for one person bought that kit. It was Alicia, and Alicia just doesn't go with the flow all the time like I'd like her to. Okay. Back to our regularly, semi-regularly scheduled program of what came in the haul. Okay, these are beautiful. You know I loved the adhesive-backed sequins. Let me grab one of my handy little Avery. This was a trick I learned from, we all learned, from Patty Bennett, right? So adhesives now go, they have a home. Adhesives have a beautiful little home, and they go in here, and they go in these, they're called passport packets. They're sold by Avery. Um, I'll put the link in this, in the description of this video after I'm finished. They're so helpful. So, this isn't the best packaging, because it's not reusable, but that's okay, because um, we don't need that. And I think they were Christmas colors. They were in a certain suite. And again, I didn't buy the whole suite. Um, get out of there now. Let's see, there was one loose one. Okay, so let's take a look at this now. That I've totally torn this. The item number is 159964. In case you're watching this and you think you need to have these. Oh, yeah. Look at those, red and green, gold, and iridescent. <gasps> yes. These are kind of matte. Look at this. And so is the iridescent. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody should be telling me. I'm sure you guys are yelling at me right now. You're not showing us. One minute. Let me get you over there. Okay, these are good. These are real good. So look at those. They're like a matte gold. Yes, thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it. Yes, Roz. Avery, Amazon. Avery, passport holders on Amazon. Yes. Oh, good. Okay, well, Lori, like I said, I will put the link to them in um, the description of this video when I am finished. So feel free. Then these are the iridescent, but they're also matte. But these don't look matte. The red and green look shiny to me. And they aren't described as matte. So anyway, they're just gorgeous. I don't know if you can see all of the colors popping off of this. Like they're definitely green, but they also have iridescence to them. So then I am simply going to put these in this pouch and then sometimes those little sequins or whatever you're using want to go walk about and they can't now. They can't go walk about. Yay! Something I learned from my Australian friends, Leslie, etc. Okay, let's look at another one. Red and red and green adhesive backed pearls. What? Those look, <laughs> some of these look blue, y'all. What happened? Am I going colorblind? <laughs> did I buy the sequin dyes? You know what? I did not buy the sequin dyes, Brene. Um, they don't initially appeal to me, but now you're saying they're amazing. Look how nice I opened them. I kind of forgot I was on the screen. Okay, oh, there we go. So there are red, and I guess those are green. They're like mint macaron, and they might be actually mint macaron, okay? But then you also get silver and gold. 
silver and gold. Oh my gosh, we're going to be watching that soon, right? We're going to be talking about all those Rankin Bass Christmas shows. These are really cute. Okay, so similar to the iridescent pearls that I showed you when we first came on, they almost look like they have a ring around them, even though they don't. They're just iridescent on the top. So, super cool. Roz, you're so great. Roz is taking care of Lori. Roz, you're good stuff. You're good stuff, Roz. Okay, let's look at, oh, this is some fall things. I bought that as a sweet, so I'll wait. I know that we could show that one as a sweet. Pam doesn't like the sequin dies. I wasn't going to call her out, but we all like something different, so that's good. Okay, so this one is from a sweet called Light to Glow. It's the paper. I actually have other plans for it besides the stamp and um, the bundles that come with it, but again, <laughs> best laid plans. I'm sure that I will probably end up buying the bundle or bundles. Oh, this is a nice pack of paper. So six by six, you get four each. So it's just like a regular sheet or regular um, pack of paper, 12 by 12 paper where you get two sheets of each. Oh, this has some kind of bokeh. Look at these. I'll bring this on over in here. There we go. Ooh, that's interesting. And will be really interesting when you cut it up. You could do strips with that and that would be really neat. And this looks fun. You could cut this in four and then put a sentiment in there. Bam, some ribbon, you're done. Oh, that's nice. So these are foiled, at least on this side. All foiled, it looks like. Now it's gonna make a liar out of me. Nope, that's foiled too. Oh, these are fun. There's small designs, which can be <clears throat> nice to have for cards or other small 3D items, right? So, oh, look at this. I like this one. You could use this for some sort of waves. Um, we have, uh, what is that? We have a seal coming up. And of course we have all of our other sea creature, sea life things, but I love how they've done the bokeh in the back of some of these papers. This is a really cool, fresh idea. I think that this is part of the suite that's on the front of the cover um, of the catalog. So again with the bokeh, love it. Now that's, we need to try that as just a technique, right? Stamp on the paper, but do bokeh in the background. I love it. Okay, and now some of the same designs just in probably cherry cobbler, I'm guessing. Okay, let's see. Can I turn these over? I don't know. I was not a dealer in Vegas, so I'm not sure. I have little hands. Remember, we talked about this before. The only little thing on me. Little feet? No. And I'm shrinking. <laughs> not the right way. Okay, so let's turn these over because you know they're double-sided. Fun! I think it's the same designs, just not foiled. Which is great because then if you want to use other metallics, you know, your silver, your rose gold, all that business, um, then you're not confined to the gold foiling. Oh, that's fun. See, there's a couple different designs. But lots of them are just the designs on the front without the foiling. It is nice, isn't it? Again, that's lights aglow. Okay, light, yeah, lights aglow. Got it. It's gonna be a winner. The paper is certainly beautiful. Let's see. I have a lot of paper back here, you guys. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. I have two, like, Jongo packs of paper. What can I even say about them? They're so humongous. Oh, I just want to sit and look at each piece of this paper. <laughs> so do you. I know you do. <laughs> okay, so let's see what I got going on here. Um, I had an idea for this. I bought two packs of this paper because I already have ideas for it. 
for customers and um, people like you. Looks like, yeah, it looks like a mermaid tail. And we do have a mermaid stamp, I think. In that, what is it called? The one with the dragon. You know what I'm talking about. It's in the annual catalog. Okay, so this one is called Rustic Harvest. And I believe that is the name of the suite. Um, again, I don't have them all memorized yet, but you know me. I'll study up. Now that I've got my actual copies, oh my gosh, it's 8 o'clock already. All right, well, settle in, ladies. We got some things to talk about. Um, but now that I have the actual copies of my catalogs, um, that will be good. Okay, so this, it's called Something Harvest, <laughs> right? This is the beautiful stamp set. Oh, I love it. It's red rubber. Um, looks nice. This is a beautiful, wishing you the loveliest day. You're such a blessing. Hello, the, like the cutest pumpkin. Look at it. I love how it's not perfectly round. It's a little chubby. It's a little chubs, and we like it that way. And this really cool leaf. Let's take a look at the dies because I remember them being pretty cool. I bet there's something for that. Yes, I do. That's kind of the bad thing about opening these live with you is some people are irritated by that sound, but I like that sound because it means what new product. And I can't believe Cashy's not in here yet either. Cause he thinks it means candy. <laughs> he does. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we have, of course we have this. Then we have a pumpkin to cut out. Get the leaf. Pretty. Ooh, we have this cool. You could also use the sunflower, celebrate sunflowers. You could use that. Incorporate that into some of this. What is this? This is the single sunflower. Our die sets are so fabulous. Now I think this might be. No, I think this is just a pumpkin you can put together with these. Yeah, it feels like they cut and emboss. And so, feels like, well, I don't know exactly. We're going to figure it out sometime. But um, here's like the, here's the um, 3D portion of that, I guess. Or the, the stem. They're very cool, though. So... And the cool thing about it is we don't know quite what it's going to look like, but once you cut them out, let's look in the catalog, cut them out, take a look at them. I think they're going to just fall into place. And then three different vines, which is really fun. Now I'm going to take these off of this paper immediately because I don't use this. You guys know I use the magnet sheets from Stamp and Storage. I like the banner stamp too. We have another stamp set in there that's all about banners. And again, lovely. We had a set a couple of years ago that was for birthdays, but it had banners in it. Yeah, I was a sucker for that one. It was really fun. Okay. So for right now, these are just going to go in here because I don't want to lose them. They have a way of running off. Okay, but if you put them back in there, that's really pretty. And then here's Leaf Label and Amber Gem. They sold together as a combo. Ooh. Oh. Wow. That's a nice amount of these beautiful Amber Gems. And then, oh, these are nice. They're like craft paper. I mean, they might have a slightly different finish. But they're tags or whatever you want to make them. And, um... You could stamp on them for sure. They're they feel like our regular cardstock finish, but maybe a little bit like thick, thick basic white or something. Except they're craft. Those are cool, aren't they? I like that. Um, yes. Any other comments about this stuff? We love love it, Deborah. Yes, of course. We do love love it. It's good stuff. 
Okay, and then those guys, they need to go over here. Don't forget, I still have a lot of really fun celebration things to show you. Because again, when you are signed up as a demonstrator, which means lots of different things. Do you know that most demonstrators, I mean the vast majority of us that sign up as demonstrators only have one customer themselves. I think it's like eight out of 10. So don't feel like you can't sign up to get the special and to get the permanent discount because everybody else is, <laughs> right? So just to give you a heads up on that. Okay, let's look at this paper. Oh, that's neat. That's good stuff. Okay, and then here's the next sheet. Oh, wow. Look at that. The black with the white overlaid on it. This is gorgeous. You can just cut this in half and then cut it into thirds. And you'll have six beautiful card fronts. Oh, and that's a nice one. You know, the A side, we call this the A side of the paper. It kind of more closely adheres to the theme. And then the B side is more, um, it still coordinates, but it can be used for tons of things. So this is not going to have to be anything autumn. It could be a birthday card. You can color on this and make it another color. So that's why it's the best. Our paper is the best. First of all, it's a great weight and a great finish. That's nice. Ginkgo. I don't know the other two. I can't identify for certainty. Oh, I love that. That's super fun. Wow. These are very bold with their black and white. And um, so anyway, that is that set. I'm loving it. And I bet some of these pumpkins might be able to be die cut. I didn't. Let's look at the first page. It had pumpkins. Maybe not. I take that back. Nope. They don't look like it. That's all right. You'll have plenty of fun with the stamp set. Uh, and so again, that was rustic harvest. Harvest something. I'll have it memorized though. Don't you worry. Okay. This one. Christmas Scotty, get out of town. What would make it better? A punch. I'm gonna stop right now. I almost should do a mic drop. Christmas Scotty with a punch? Stop it. I know, glad I got two packs. Exactly, me too. A Christmas Scotty with a punch. You can punch out the dog and the bow. I see no love for this. I can't believe it. Well, I love it. I'm giving it hearts all day long. Um, <laughs> these are so fun. May your days be furry and bright. You're always loved. Merry Christmas and woof. <laughs> I'm going to send people the card that just says woof on it, but it'll be decorated in Christmas, don't you think? And then all these little pieces and parts, the bows, a present, which you can stamp in different colors, you see. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a bow to put on the um, profile of the dogs. Okay, all right. And then this great, look at that, this plaid thing. Oh, Amy, you got it too. Is it, and it'll make a Westie as well, right? Black, Scotty dog, white, White Highland, West Highland, West Highland Yorkie, Yorkshire Terrier, I don't know. You can tell me, Amy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. Let's take a look at this plaid piece. It's got a lot of texture in it. That's a good one. Looks like we need a D block. And looks like we need some scrap paper. Oh. And we need, oh. We need our paper piercing mat. We gotta try it, right? Paper piercing mat. You know, I like to scrub this first on the chamois. Are 
hurts my teeth, but it's worth it. Right? And then let's do this. Oh, it's a toughie. And I'm going to do it in um, maybe evening evergreen. Let's just go for it. Really dark color. Oh, so sweet. It even has tassels on it. Oh my gosh. Tassels. That is super cool. You know I love it. You know I love the stamping process. Wow. Let's let that dry for just a minute. I think it's going to be so cute. And then our Scotty dog. This is a good one. I'm going to have lots of fun with this. You know I like a cute set, right? Oh, yes, Lori. Um, we're always talking about there being a finish on the photopolymer stamps from, from processing, and it kind of resists the ink. That's why the first few times you use it, it's not so good. But the inking is not so good. And so that's why I scrub it on the chamois. It's really to get rid of that kind of film. Isn't that cute? Oh, look at that. Somebody needs to get their eyes checked. Somebody already got her eyes checked. I love it. And I bet you can probably put it on the Stamparatus and it'll be like a continuous pattern. I don't know that for sure. But I'm guessing it will be. So anyway, there's the Christmas Scotty. It is a bundle. Okay, so you'll save 10%. And can you see that? There's always so much glare on these things. I don't know. But um, it's just really going to be cute. I know. I love it too. Whoever's saying that. Yes. Super fun. Okay. So Christmas Scotty. It is. And I don't have Scotties. I've never been on a Scotty, but it's just one of those quintessential dog breeds, isn't it? Okay. So let's talk about this stamp set. Trees for sale. It's going to be really good. And when you see what you can coordinate it with, it's going to be even better. Um, so this is in the annual catalog, okay? And it's super cute. Another one that has a dog, right? Trees for sale, a string of lights, a pole. So you can do two poles with the lights across it and this little tree lot. And the way these are is you could stamp this and then stamp this in Versamark on top of the trees, okay? And make your trees kind of embossed. Or you could stamp in multicolors. You could stamp in the same colors. You can do first and second generation. And this is about how big they are, okay? I don't know if that helps you. See them in my hand. The dog is like about two, or two, you know I have to use this, two or so inches. No, he's not. He's more like one and a quarter inches, okay? So not huge, but it's all about making a scene. Making a scene. An actual scene. Not a scene like that I would make. But then, in the celebration flyer, you can get these for free with a $100 purchase. Who Does anybody not know how celebration works? If you don't know, say that in the comments and I will tell you. Otherwise, I won't tell you because you already know. <laughs> and don't feel don't feel weird if you don't know. It's totally fine. So for a one hundred dollar purchase, then you can get these free in July and August. Okay. Look at it. It's gonna make your tree lot come to life. Oh, look at the camper. Oh, I even if you don't use the trees, if you camp, you've got to have these dies. It has the camper, it has a piece that you, where you can make the camper look deluxe, right? On the top, who likes these dies? I love, I always love um, a pennant. There's of course, then they have dies to cut out all of these pieces. I think all of them. The pole, the lights, all the trees. And you can have trees with texture. What is this? Oh my gosh. That's a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. It's very retro, isn't it? 
It's got these three stars for on top of the trees, right? You get a wreath, which we've kind of had that in another set and it was fantastic. What are these? I guess they're supposed to be just little sprigs of pine. I don't know. You know what? They're cute though. Oh no. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the love for this because I was like all over it. Oh, and you even have like little tree stumps. Wow. Can you imagine how like over the top cards are gonna be when you make you make it with the stamps and dies? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to play with that. Okay, here's another celebration item. Look at that. You've probably already heard, maybe you haven't, that there were hippos in there. Look at them. Are they so cute? I know the Charlie Brown tree. I didn't see that either. You're always on point. She's on point. You're so hip. Oh, you really are the best and love you a ton. So this is a great cling stamp set. Seven stamps. You earn this for free with a $50 purchase. So you can't buy it. You have to buy $50 of other product and then you can have it as one of your free choices. But wait, there might be more. You know me. So if you Again, if you make a $100 purchase and you've already bought the tree, tree lot dies, <laughs> you can buy the stamp set and coordinating dies. <laughs> They're just about as cute as the tree lot dies. Look at all of these things. So you can cut out all of the hippos, right? Plus then you can put the hippos in all sorts of cool situations. A wash tub, a boat. I think that's the motor. Is that not adorable? Some water. A snorkel? Get out. You can use the snorkel with anybody. Um, you can actually use the snorkel with the penguins. Remember the penguins? Or but whatever you want to use it with. Oh my gosh. This for when it's raining. You can use that with any other of our little characters. Um, an inflatable ring. A party hat. Glasses. Again, all these things can be used with um, all of our little animals. That really looks like it's about the same size as the penguins. I don't know for sure. And the walruses, I'm not sure about them either, but um, you could probably use all of these things with it. This, I don't even know what that is. It's probably more water. It might be like a water splash because these all have a water theme, right? And then just some beautiful hearts. Anyway, it's a really good deal. Lots and lots of stuff in here. Again, these will be earned separately. It takes a $50 purchase to earn this and a $50 separate $50 purchase to earn this. But then you have them and they're doing all sorts of cool things. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here's another great bundle, right? And this has a hybrid embossing folder. I won't, I am keeping you late at school tonight, right? So I won't get this out and show you what it does, but basically it embosses and cuts out items with one pass through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Pretty cool. So you do need the standard size stamp and cut and emboss machine, okay? And there's the embossing folder. And then here's the hybrid die. But what it's cutting out are tree rings. And look at this. It's so Again, it's kind of buildable, right? So your house and the roof can be different colors. Um, all of these berries and greenery can be different colors, right? The gumdrops. And then they put in some different things. So there is a Merry Christmas, but there's also love and warmth. Happy anniversary. Get well soon just for you, thinking of you. So I really like that. They could be thank you cards in the fall or in winter. They can be birthday card in the winter, right? Don't forget our people in the winter that have a birthday. And these are photo of a polymer. So you'll be able to put the tops on the acorn and so-and-so. And then let's take a look at the dies. These are tree ring dies. Maybe first of all, I should 
get this one out just because it's easier. Oh, Leslie says so cute. Hers is coming with the dies. I think you're talking about the hip bow. Oh, are the ring, the tree rings are on your order, Lori? Nice. Ooh, yes. So that's going to be really cool as a background or anything. But then if you want to cut those tree rings out and put the hearts or all sorts of cool things on them and make them like a popped up image on your cards, then let's take a look and see what we've got in here. I believe these can be used separately as regular dies, but the cool thing is, oh my gosh, it's not just the tree rings. It's a bunch of extra stuff. So this, and I'll do a video on this very soon. So you can cut them out separately. Okay. But this fits in here. Let me see if I can put this in. My fingers aren't working now. Yes. Okay. So it fits. See, it kind of locks right in there. Okay. And of course you have the paper in there too. You make the sandwich, follow the directions for the sandwich. I think it's the same as with a, with an embossing folder, but again, I'll tell you more in the video. Um, but then you run it through and you get these cut out at the same time that they Get their tree rings embossed on them very cool very nice to have a time-saving thing like that during christmas when you're making multiples of everything and burning that midnight oil even if you're in the christmas even if you're in the tis the season christmas makers club everybody's you know gonna be working a few late nights thank you for sharing corinne and a nice little reminder towards the end of our video here if you are watching me on replay hello I'm so glad to have you here. And if you're watching on YouTube, hi! Thank you for watching on YouTube. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that so much. And as soon as I have a thousand viewers, I'll be going um, live over there as well with some exclusive content. So we have a ways to go, but that's okay. I think we're like, at, I think I'm at 396 subscribers right now. So of course, the next celebration will be for 400. So we're only four people away. And um, so anyway, then we have all of the separate tree rings. We have this, which is like the middle of a tree ring, right? Like a split. And then all of these cool leaf pieces that adhere or that emboss and cut. Then finally, you have that little gumdrop. I think it's a gumdrop. What's this? I don't know what that is. I'll find out, but I'm not sure what that one is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Jill, isn't it cool? I can't wait to see what you do with it. You're very creative. So I can't wait to see what you whip up with this. And then um, if you don't want to create everything from scratch for that bundle, you can, of course, order some paper in celebration. So this is free with a $50 order. It's called Rings of Love. Oh my gosh. They stiffen up. You've got it going on. Oh wow. Okay, so let me kind of have this out here, right? And so, um, oh yes. Beautiful. I'm going to kind of let you and this one, of course, is going to go beautifully with that. This is like one of the prettiest papers striking me right here. As gorgeous. Wow. Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh, my gosh. This one. Look at that. Oh. Those are the sweetest birds I think we've ever had. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Some, like salt techniques and then just like the house we have the cutest houses um the colors i don't know the color combination is really getting me with this what's this called mandala i don't know it's like a center yeah great for man cards too oh wow i love this paper mm. 
Oh, and I'm sure these you can cut out with the dies. Remember, there were the single dies. So you don't even have to stamp them. And then this kind of really artistic poinsettia, poinsettia, poinsettia. We've had that conversation before. Both are acceptable. <gasps> this paper, it's like the perfect thing for me between realistic and whimsical. Love it. Look at that bird. You can get all this paper free with a $50 purchase. So if you purchase the ring, Ringed with Nature, or whatever it's called, as a bundle, you will earn this paper um, because I think it's just, I think it's just over $50. It might be like $50.25. Okay, we're going to do the bottom, believe it or not. This is also free with a $100 purchase. All these phrases, look at this. You always get me with a hey because I say hey as hello all the time photopolymer, but then they mix and match, right? Oops. I'm the worst. <laughs> amazing. It's going to be amazing. Woohoo, you've got this. Hey. So sorry, you, oh. <laughs> I'm going to send this to someone, not really. How about this one? Oops. So sorry you are together. <laughs> I cracked myself up. I'm going to send that to someone. I don't know who. It's going to have to be somebody who gets me. <laughs> Oops. So sorry you are together. Okay, no one thinks that's funny. That's all right. I know I'm not nearly as funny as I think I am. Okay. It's going to be amazing. You're doing amazing. Woohoo, good looking. Hey, good looking. Anyway, you got it. <laughs> so sorry you two are together. <laughs> Stop it. You know that's funny. Oh, now you know it's funny. This is a courtesy laugh. It's okay. I'll take it. Bring it on. Bring it on, the courtesy laugh. These are envelope treat boxes. I won't open them now because... Um, just because of time, but look, you even get little gold foils, and they look kind of like little flat takeout boxes. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys are too funny. Okay, here's some 12 by 12 glimmer paper. I know, right, Jean? Oops. And it, it would also be sad if it was their wedding card, but girl, you know, you've been to those weddings before where you're like, I think I need to keep the receipt for this toaster. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, my eyes. <laughs> look at this paper. It's our, it's beautiful, but I can't look at it. You're going to have to cut it upside down. My goodness. Hello, Mitzi. We are just partying. We're partying like it's Christmas time here. This is probably evening evergreen. Look how pretty that is. And finally, like a white iridescent. Guys, check it out. <laughs> it's part of a suite. I think it's part of that Lights a Glow suite. Again, that's on the cover, but um, I don't remember exactly. Now, this is Festive Foils 12 by 12 paper. <laughs> I'm not a bird person. I know, Jane, that DSP, like just as a decorative element, right? Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. This looks like real red. Again, not positive. Ooh, crushed curry with gold. That's a cool combo. I like that. Wow. These are like just slightly different, but very beautiful. So you get six sheets of that. Each sheet is one-sided and foiled. So it's a specialty paper. Those can sometimes be a little different, right? Oh, you know what also goes with that fall suite is some 12 by 12 basic black cardstock, which is great for 3D items or for fancy folds, right? Who can tell you about that? Jill Peterson. Now I won't go through every sheet of this paper, but there are two really deluxe packs of paper. One is called Gingham Cottage. It's $30 because it's a double pack of paper. So it's really like buying 
two $15 packs. But I'll show you in a minute why you're going to want this one. And then this one is called Celebrate Everything. This is going to be, this is a host choice. So you can choose this. Um, right now you pay full retail price on it as a demonstrator, which it's $30. But once uh, it goes live, you can earn it as a host item with a purchase of $150 or more, okay? So, and I think it's called, what I just call it? For, something for everything, celebrate everything. Who doesn't need a pack of paper called Celebrate Everything, right? So, of course, it's going to have some Christmas. And, oh, yes. We'll just take a quick, just a quick look. It won't hurt at all. Oh, my gosh. Fourth of July or whatever, if you're in another country, I know everybody celebrates with fireworks. Some more of that kind of scalloped edging with this cool green. Great black and white trees. Oh. I love a vintage ornament. Love a vintage ornament. That one's great. I think we've had this before. Something like it, but it was in Halloween paper. Okay, and then a cool, like, crisscrossy thing. Oh, this can kind of go with your, your tree rings stamp set, right? Ghosts and pumpkins. Perfect. Or a really nice crushed curry stripe. Oh, that's fun. I like this design. Oh, wow. I'll be interested to see what I make with that. That's a big, bold zigzag, isn't it? Then we've got this. Beautiful. Could definitely work with lots of the things we've looked at, looked at tonight. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. That's really pretty. And then finally, I think we're at the... Oh, this is nice. A rainbow but it has a black stripe in it which I think is really kind of fresh and different nope we still have more but this green that's a good one look at this oh wow so it's a bold stripe but the pink actually has texture in it so it looks kind of like fabric and then finally that's multicolored polka dots wow so and it only has about 10 different colors in it. So I think you can find something you would like to use this. Jill, you must look. Don't look away. Okay. I have you under my spell. You are feeling like you should probably make a pre-order. Oh, you've already made one? Well, who says you can't make two? <laughs> okay. Here's why you're gonna want this paper. This huge pack of paper that's called Cottage Garden. I think it might be part of a suite. I didn't care for it if it was, because I just bought it sim simply by itself. This is why. Because it's like this most fresh take on a gingham and plaids that you ever have seen. Look at them. You could kind of recreate these with your blends but you'd need to be really like messy with it. And I don't know, it's just gonna take on a whole different life when you cut this down for cards or projects. I think it's gonna be quite something. I also think there's so much white on some of these papers that it'd be great to do a pattern on a pattern with stamping right over this, okay? So I'll be trying that. Yes, uh, I think there's, you know, not even, just stamp over the whole thing with whatever, the tree rings, or I don't know. I just think it's really gonna be fun. And again, like you still have the smaller sizes, right? I mean, here's like this bold white. This looks like it was done with an actual acrylic paintbrush. And here's the black, what would we call this? Still a plaid, it's just on the bias. It's on the diagonal. Wow, that one looks interesting, doesn't it? And then here's some more of that where it's a little more, it's like if you were doing something, if you were editing a photo and you took away some of the transparency. So I don't know what else to call it, but that some of those can definitely be used for fall. Look at this. So anyway, 
this paper, right? It's going to be a cool, fresh addition on a really classic pattern of gingham. Okay, I think you're gonna need that. I do. <laughs> How can you not want that? I mean, come on. Your DSP is already gonna outlive you. Well, that's all right. You wanna leave something to your friends and family, don't you? <laughs> I think you should. You should. Okay, I. what can I even say? Can I pick one product that I like? No, I cannot. I can't do it. Um, I can, however, tell you that I'm so glad you joined me tonight. It was super fun. Thanks to those of you. Oh, you guys hang in there with me. You hung in there with me. Thank you. Watch replay if you want to see what we were doing. We did some drawings. We had some fun. We were laughing. I showed you these things that I made. And um, we talked about a lot of different stuff, right? I'm sending out the two card kits to Kathy and Deborah um, tomorrow morning. They'll be in the mail priority. And um, I'll send you invoices for that, ladies, right now. But like I said, you don't have to like stay awake to, to uh, pay those tonight. And um, I will also have these in the mail to Pam. Pam, didn't you win a couple of weeks ago? Did you win a couple of weeks ago? You did. Well, there you go. Um, it's just the luck of the wheel, okay? You guys saw it. I'm not pulling any strings for Pam, even though I do like Pam a lot. But Pam is going to be getting these. And I'm sending out a couple of cards. And thank you, Kathy Sheely, for, um, for donating those to the treasure chest. I'm sorry that they tried to come back to you, but we're not going to let them. Okay, I think my, my number one product that I'm super, the most excited about is... Um, let's see here. I'm not wondering. I'm just looking for it. What do you think it is? Did you see me? I think it's the Christmas Scotty. It's got to be the Scotty. Okay, it's cute. I'm going to use some of that cottage garden paper that I just showed you, probably. And also, you can make that dog any color you want, okay? He can be black or white, of course. He can be anything. He can be any colors. And then don't forget the super cute. That's his blanket. But it's really fun. So anyway, I think I'm probably most excited to start work with those. But I'm going to work with it all. I love it all. Okay, so anyway, if as you have questions about anything I've showed you tonight, please let me know. I'm happy to talk with you. Uh, private message me or um, whatever you need to do. Okay? Just to get a hold of me, contact me at uh, the Stamping Zoo at Outlook.com. Go over to my webpage and check it out. That's where you can find the tab to shop. Um, that's where you can find the tab to sign up for, I should have told you this. Let me pop this in real quick. Two events live this, this, um, this summer. First of all is the June Stamp Camp. If you're going to come to that, I need to know soon. Okay, and then, um, sorry, I'm posting all sorts of things here. And then I have a Christmas in July, which is uh, really like a catalog party slash um, creativity party slash game day. <laughs> so you'll get freebies, you'll get new catalogs, you'll be doing make and takes with new project with new products, sorry. And... Um, so if you want to find out about either one of those, just like with the other stuff, um, just go over to thestampingzoo.com and there are links for you to register for both of those events. You don't need to pay right now, but I would love to get um, a head count on it. Okay, so now I will bid you adieu. I hope you all have a lovely weekend and please don't forget to share this video because you're going to be put into the drawing for next week's prize. Okay. Thank you so much and um, everybody have a safe weekend. Okay. I'll see you soon.